and the Viclis's VM1B monitoring system uses a 4.3 inch screen to allow us to see the passengers behind us. Now, while this system is primarily aimed or marketed as a baby monitoring system, I really think that this system also has the potential for any Uber or Lyft driver out there who wants to see what their passengers behind you are doing. You may already have a dash cam installed, but a dash cam places the cabin camera further towards the front. With the system, we can have the camera right behind us so we can get a very close look at what the passengers are doing. Also having a large display like this, as opposed to a small little display in a dash cam, makes it quite visible to the passengers in the rear that they're being monitored, that they're being watched. And the advantage of them knowing that they're being watched is that that is the best deterrent. When somebody sees themselves on a screen, they see, uh oh, I am being watched, monitored, possibly recorded, I better behave. And this applies whether you are driving passengers around for a living or whether you're a parent and they have a kid behind you and you wanna see that they have their seatbelt on, that they're behaving. You can monitor that with the Viclis' system. And to mount the display, they have included the suction mount so we can position this and then lock this in place. Then we can further aim the display in the front so we can see it better. And here's what the monitoring camera looks like. And Viclisa says that they're using Sony sensors and also this camera is capable of high definition video and they have provided three different ways of mounting this camera. And I think that's also one of the strengths of this kit. The first one is this double sided tape. I can peel the tape and then stick this anywhere I want on my vehicle. And the second method is with this little bracket that mounts to the headrest of the vehicle, either on the left or the right hand side, passenger or driver side and then the camera gets clipped onto the front. Once the camera is clipped onto the front, I can further adjust and lock the view that I want so I can have the best possible view of what's behind me. And if we don't want to use the headrest mount, they also included a suction mount. Again, just a lot of flexibility because with the suction mount, we can place this anywhere such as in the window or anywhere towards the back so we can get the best possible view and be able to see what is going on behind us. And to power up the system, they have included a cigarette lighter adapter plug that also has an additional USB charger on the back so we can power the system and charge our phones at the same time. And they have also included a hardwire cable in case we decide to connect this system permanently to our vehicle's power. And finally, they have included my favorite installation tool, which is the spatula, that allows me to push the cable into the trim so I can hide the cable without having to remove any panels. And we also get a user manual in full color showing how the system is installed and showing how the rear camera can be positioned in the different ways. We also get an installation support car and the system comes with a one year warranty. Now what's interesting is that if you register the system, Viclises will extend the warranty to a full two years. And these are the connections for the system. I'll start with the power that goes to the monitor. I'm gonna take these two connectors, push them in together and then turn the collar to fully lock them in place. Notice the two arrows, those will align if it's seated correctly. Next, I'm going to connect the monitor to the extension cable. And I'm going to put these connectors together, push them in until they're fully seated. Now I'm going to connect the camera to the extension cable. And this is the same process, I'm just going to push those connectors in together until they're fully locked. And this is the Viclis' BM1B car monitoring system. And right now I am sitting in the back of the vehicle behind the driver. And as you can see, we have a really clear view of what is going on back here. Now, as far as the length of the cable that connects the rear camera to the front monitor, that's about 16 feet long, which is about five meters. So it's plenty of length for us to be able to position the camera anywhere I want. Right now you are seeing the camera mounted on the headrest of the driver. And the monitor also has brightness adjustment, contrast adjustment, saturation, and we can also flip the image or rotate the image if we wanted to. And I have placed a monitor really high up in my windshield so it's out of the way and you can see that it's quite visible to the passengers in the rear that they are being watched. But what about the baby? Well here is our test subject, say hi. <laughs> and this is what the baby would look like if he was sitting back here in the back seat of the car. And this is what the Viclis' BM1B system looks like at night. And you may think that there's a lot of light back here but it's actually quite dark. In fact my car has tinted windows and this is something that I first noticed when I tested the 
the other Biclesa system, the BT1B system, where I thought, what is going on? Where's our this light coming from? And it's not that there's an external light. It is the technology that they're using on this camera, which is a Sony technology, which is called Starlight, which is a very, very sensitive sensor. Now, just to show you the difference, this is when I open the car door and the lights are on, and you can see how just everything brightens up. And when the light turns off, the camera adjusts for night lighting or for what you can call it, night vision. And you can see a lot of detail, which is pretty cool because if we wanted to monitor the passages in the rear at night, we don't necessarily want to drive with the light on and we can still see them while driving with the light off. But what about the baby? Well, here is our test subject standing in for the baby. <laughs> Say hi. And this is what a baby would look like if it was on the rear of the vehicle at night driving around with the Viclis's BM1B monitoring system. And that was the Viclis's BM1B monitoring system. And just like with the VT1B, the BM1 system works good as a standalone system, but also complements any existing dashcam system that you may already have set up where you are recording the cabin, because this system allows us to monitor behind the cabin. And the fact that we have a fairly large screen that can be positioned so the people behind us see that they're being monitored, I think works well as a deterrent. Anybody that knows that are on video are more likely to be on their best behavior. And in my opinion, these monitoring systems also make driving safer because I don't have to take my eyes off the road so I can turn all the way around and see what is going on behind me where I can now see it displayed right in front of me. So remember, I have placed a link in the description down below to the BM1B system if you want to look at this further or acquire one for yourself. And if you guys have any other questions regarding this system, please put that in the comments down below. If you found any part of this video helpful, please hit the thumbs up button to support the channel. And stay tuned as I have a lot more cool gadgets and dashcam reviews coming up. Thank you guys for watching and as always, I'll see you on the next one.